Hello, Darren Prouty here, Precision Propeller Company, Spokane, Washington, with a few facts on props. This week, I want to talk about labbing propellers. I would rather call it blueprinting. Blueprinting propellers, many times you get a prop, it's not exactly right. Your application may need less RPMs, more RPMs, have a slight vibration, a little bit more transom lift. We can get that by altering a propeller. That is labbing or blueprinting. We get a lot of calls from people that buy propellers off the internet. You can buy a labbed propeller, you can buy a blueprinted propeller, but it probably will be not the right propeller for your application. We here at Precision Propeller take your factory stock propeller that's never been touched and we'll alter it to make it right for your application. If you're high in your RPMs or you're low in your RPMs, you want a little more transom lift, we can usually do that with some alterations of your propeller. Some of our propellers, such as cleavers, designs like this, may give a little bit too much transom lift. We'll go into a round ear, or we can thin out the blades for some better performance. Many times, blades are thinned out too much, and the blades will actually crack, or you'll lose a blade at high RPM, which can be quite dangerous, and I wouldn't recommend that or wish that upon anyone. This particular propeller here actually shifts pitch. It actually will shift upon a certain RPM. Not necessary to ever really blueprint a prop like that. Your ideal propeller will allow your motor to turn its maximum RPMs where it develops its horsepower. If you cannot turn those RPMs, the propeller is too steep and is laboring your application. If you're going beyond your ma manufacturer's maximum RPM reading, your propeller is too flat. It needs to be more aggressive to grab the water more aggressively to bring down those RPMs, put it to miles per hour, performance, gas mileage, and such. Between three blade, four blade, five blade, there's a lot of different questions on why what prop works. Removable hub, stationary fixed hub systems. Your cavitation plate just above the propeller should be even or if not above the bottom of the boat. Motor height is huge for how you're running your propeller to its optimum and maximum performance. Here's some propellers here that we've either either blueprinted already and or may be blueprinted for application. The particular Bravo 3 set on application sometimes overwind at top end or have some cavitation. We actually can cup the trailing edge and polish your propellers, which are not really usually come factory polished and or cupped. By adding that cup, we can bring down RPMs and adding performance. We don't want to cup a propeller unless you are over revving. Many people get confused, well, I want more aggressive of a prop. You can't always turn more of aggressive of a prop because it's going to bring down your RPMs. Another lab application is affecting the trailing edge where the water grabs and puts it to work. Obviously the leading edge needs to be fairly sharp, but not to a knife edge because we don't want it to lose any strength. But when that application is over revving or not getting enough RPMs, we can maintain, we can change RPMs two to 500 in one prop. If we need to change more than two to 500, we would probably change pitch. Anybody that tells you that they can re-pitch a stainless prop usually does not exactly know what they're talking about. I do not recommend re-pitching stainless propellers. Now we can cup, we can modify, we can lab, but you can't alter where this propeller is latched up to this housing. When you do so, you're basically altering a propeller, you're going to end up with vibrations or issues. Do not re-pitch stainless. We can take a prop that you're running and blueprint it to your application. I would prefer to take a new propeller, have you give me some RPM readings, and we can blueprint it from there. A new propeller, such as this one here, we would send you out with, you'd run this propeller, and give me an RPM reading. 
We know what pitch diameter prop this is. We want to know what RPMs your motor's turning it at. If it's not correct, that's when we lab. That's when we blueprint. A lot of people will call me, tell me they want their props labbed or blueprinted. They'll give me their RPMs. I tell them it's not broken. We don't want to fix it unless it's broken. So if we cannot lab your propeller and get it to the performance and RPM needed, then we can hook you up with another propeller. With our boat to propeller evaluation, we can tell whether or not we can lab a certain propeller to your application, or we'll just have to go to the box and grab a new propeller and have you take it out and run it and feed us with that information. Boat to propeller evaluation will come up on our next video. So that's pretty much labbing in a nutshell. Any other questions? Give us a holler. We know the answers.